We're on our way to go try on some dresses! We already tried on dresses. Oh. No <laughs> What had happened was, I already found my dress. I already went dress shopping with my mama and my sister and my cousins and one of my bridesmaids. I wasn't even engaged when I went to go look at these dresses. I was pregnant and I knew the wedding was already being planned. Um, I don't know if y'all are gonna be watching this video after or before our like wedding video uh, where I'm talking to you about everything that's going on with the planning. But because we knew the date of our wedding and I still didn't have a ring on my finger, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go try on dresses and hopefully find something because we had we were basically planning a wedding in like three to four months and i know wedding dresses usually take a while to come in so i went to go try on dresses and i did find a dress however given my situation of pregnancy, pregnancy it's very hard to determine what my size is going to be at the date of my wedding because i will be about five to six months the day that I get married. And here I am trying on dresses, still at a size like zero two. So what we did was we bought a dress, size 12, okay? I know a lot of you are probably gonna be thinking, why did you buy a dress a size 12? Well, I was told that you're supposed to get a dress so many sizes larger than what you think you're gonna be, so that way you can get it altered down to fit your actual size. Well, everyone I tell that too, that story of me buying my size 12 is like, you're out of your mind. You're not going to be a size 12. That's ridiculous. So I called the place that I bought my dress at, asked them if they had any smaller sizes coming in anytime soon. And maybe we can go with that size and of course take it in from there so that the alterations wouldn't be so expensive. Anyway, that's where we're going right now to go get my actual <laughs> measurements. And because the days that we went to go look at dresses, I didn't record anything. Um, don't ask me why I didn't record any footage of any of my like fittings or trying on dresses or anything like that. I don't know why. I think we're just living in the moment. It was my first time looking at dresses for myself. I think I kind of wanted to have that experience with my family. Um, but I still want to show you all some dresses, okay? So we're going to go. I'm going to show you some dresses that I was thinking about getting, some other styles. Um, and then y'all can kind of guess, you know, what my final style is. So I got my dress from Pearl's Place Bridal. It's in Metairie, Louisiana. So if you're in the greater New Orleans area, definitely check this place out because they have a ton. I mean, a ton of dresses to choose from. They have so many different styles, something for all different body types, different designers that you can think of, just beautiful, beautiful styles to choose from. They also have dresses for flower girls, for mothers of the bride, mothers of the groom. They've got bridesmaids dresses. Hello there, yes, I did say yes to the dress. But today we're gonna to be trying on other styles that I may or may not have been interested in, okay? So first up, I had a very romantic, soft gown with some beautiful lace and I almost immediately regretted putting the dress on and you'll see why. I like this style, I like the, oh, I like that you did that. <laughs> <laughs> This is why we don't try on wedding dresses after you found <laughs> Rule number one. Rule number one. <laughs> I had to hurry up and take it off. But this second dress is a very sexy, strapless, lace mermaid gown with some gorgeous tulle at the bottom. Okay, Lots of peasant vibes. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, I see. <laughs> so I can still wear this if I wanted to show off a bump. Yes. The bump would be a little bit bigger. I've seen a lot of pregnant brides with tight, sexy dresses. With a little AB bump. Yeah, with a little AB bump. <laughs> so I love the sexy look, but this one was a little more traditional. It was an A-line satin. Silk, satin, silk, I don't know, I forget. But it was still a classic look, very formal and just stunning. Yeah, it's pretty. You can do it like that, you can add a little. This might have been a good uh, museum dress. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, walk down the stairs. Oh yeah. 
With the buttons? With the buttons? Oh. Is this your personality? Like, yes, you're a princess and you look like a princess, but is this you? Are you saying that princess is not my personality? I mean... <laughs> you're a princess. <laughs> but I'm the princess. <laughs> that is how the princess. I literally started this dress was perfect if it had pockets, and I'm like looking at the pockets up here. They're down here. There's the pockets. Pockets. <laughs> the princess with pockets. Oh, I love it. Dream dress. I love pockets and I tell y'all that was an awesome surprise. But this one is a little more form-fitting, a little more sexy, but I see it more as an outside type of dress. I like the shape it gives me. It makes it look like I have Oh yes, I can totally see this at the beach. You look pretty in all the dresses. That's Thank not fair. <laughs> it's not you. fair. Thank you, sister. Can you see the bump? Belly? Yeah. I zoom in on the belly. Just a little bit. <laughs> Alright, last dress, I promise. We're going all out with this massive ball gown that your maid of honor is probably going to hate because she's not going to want to help you go to the bathroom in this dress. <laughs> Absolutely not. So this is your would not dress. This is... Okay. No. So every girl has a I would not. I don't know if I record it. In this, <laughs> this can, this might be a girl's yes, definite yes, oh, but this is... Yes. But if I am helping you throughout the whole day, this is my don't you dare get this dress. Can I help you pee in this dress? No. Help me. <laughs> Especially since you have to pee I every pee 15 the minutes. The beading is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the lace. And it's fine. It, it is, is a beautiful dress. It's heavy. It's oh, <laughs> yes, it is very heavy. And you can't be holding like doing this all that. Work out itself. Let's see if we like dim the light. This sparkle. Oh, yeah, okay. <gasps> oh, look at that sparkle. I feel like one of my lungs is struggling. I'm dead in it. I'm here at Pro's Place in Metairie, and this is Brittany. She was actually the one who helped me find the dress from the beginning. I actually came in here and I was telling you about how I went to another dress. Yes. Which we don't want to talk about. <laughs> but they made me cry because of like just the way that they treated me and having me wear like a pillow and just like it just didn't feel comfortable. And then when I came in here, she's like, "Oh, I know from experience." And I thought she was talking about other brides, <laughs> but no, she was actually like was a, a bride an expecting that was bride as well. Yes. So she knew about styles that would be flattering for the bump and would just be comfortable. So if you have any tips I for do. other expecting brides. I would either suggest you come in very early as you did. Mm -hmm. You didn't have a like a extreme belly shoes before second trimester. Right. Yeah, so I de yeah. definitely recommend first trimester or after the baby because we won't get an exact measurement when the belly grows. Mm -hmm. And that's always bad because we don't know, we can't guesstimate or whatnot. So right. always first trimester or after the baby is born. Yeah, because that's been our thing. It's just like I'll be five to six months pregnant yes. and we just don't, Yes, we don't know. And then you have to kind of go with a ball gown or A-line dress. Some brides want fit and flare or mermaid and that won't work because you can't really guess the size. Mm -hmm. So you don't want it to be your fault or the consultant's fault and then it's just a bad situation. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what about those brides that actually do go with those tighter fitting mm -hmm. dresses? Like what, how do they go about getting the dress well, that fits them? two things i've actually had a bride who came in about five months she was still very petite however um we were still able to get a size from her because her belly wasn't so big oh. so we did get a good measurement for her mm -hmm. but she still wanted to stay with her size oh. never stay with the size you are because you don't know the size you're going to be after you have the baby yeah so she had to get a corset Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, the funny thing is that I told him that uh, we were coming in to possibly get that size 12. Yeah. And after she took my measurements, yes. it turned out that you still I need still it anyway. Yeah, I still want to And it's always 12. best to take in versus yeah. taking out. And mm -hmm. the dress that we tried on, which is the actual, the actual size I'm yeah. wearing, mm -hmm. it's, almost ex it's almost exactly the same. Those weak size. Yeah. It's a big difference. Yes, yeah, you did. You may not have fit that no. a couple weeks ago. I know. <laughs>
<laughs> no, and then yeah. we, a couple weeks ago, we, we, I feel like we used more clips, yeah. and now it's like, uh-oh. Yeah, almost there. It's almost there. Yeah. Yes. So we're two months away, but I just want to say thank you for Oh, man, I'm my dress. Thank you, thank you. I always got to put the curl products in. You ever get that? Yeah, I need the curls. The curls are you. amazing. I got you. Yes, I need all the products. Coming in, all my oh. thank you gifts are going to be curl products. <laughs> But yes. come see us if you have any questions. Contact yes. her. I'll give her the advice, whatever you need. Yes. I'm here. Awesome. All Good right, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all, so there you have it. Five beautiful wedding dresses to choose from. I had my soft romantic look in the first dress I tried on, the sexy strapless mermaid look, the princess pocket A-line dress, the beachy lace look, and that big, beautiful, sparkly ball gown. Let me know in the comment below which one was your favorite so far. No, full disclaimer, none of these was my official wedding dress, but I just wanted to give y'all a look into the different styles that Pearl's Play has to offer but I'm telling y'all again they have a ton of other dresses to choose from so definitely check them out I'll leave a link down in the description box below on where you can find them don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Reese's Rizzo's because the wedding is coming up and I want y'all to see my real dress subscribe if you haven't subscribed already I love y'all un besito and I'll see you in the next video bye